NHL regular season recap night 76. We got a handful of games on a Friday tonight, which is a nice little change of pace. The first of which is the New York Rangers visiting the Florida Panthers in a potential playoff preview here. Uh, both goalies pretty solid in this one. Bobrovsky stopping 31 of 34, while Jonathan Quick stops 28 of 32. You guys can do the math. That's a 4-3 win for the Panthers in the first period. Evan Rodriguez opens things up. In the second, two goals each way. Reinhardt twice for the Panthers and Panarin and Will Cooley for the Rangers. In the third, it's one more goal each way for Zibanejad and Verhage. Again, a 4-3 final here in favor of the Cats, who, again, have the first round of this playoff potential preview in the bag. The Predators taking on the Detroit Red Wings, and for as much as Ilya Samsonov, Elvis Merzlikens, and Spencer Martin were not good tonight, none of the goalies in this game were either. Uh, Alex Lyon and UC Saros got the starts for each of these two teams, and Alex Lyon played all right. He stops 33-27, but UC Saros stops just 18-23, which is just frankly not good enough. Uh, the Wings win this one by a final score of 5-4 to four in overtime. Dylan Larkin, Philip Forsberg, and Jake Wallman open things up in the first. In the second, it's Gus Nyquist and Forsberg with his second in the game, making a 3-2 lead for the Preds, headed to the third, where Dabrinkit, Wallman with his second, and Gus Nyquist with his second force overtime. In the overtime, it's Lucas Raymond from Wallman and Dabrinkit that wraps things up, a 5-4 OT win for the Wings, who need some points pretty badly now after their recent slump. The Devils visiting Ottawa and Nico Dawes making his season debut tonight. He was pretty good for the Devils. He stops 25 of 27 while Corpusala struggles, but what else is new? Stopping just 24 of 30 for an 800 save percentage. 6-2 uh, final here for New Jersey. In the first, Batherson, Hughes, and Bratt. In the second, Mercer and Toffoli. And then in the third, Brendan Smith, Jacob Bernard, Docker, and Luke Hughes, who had a pretty solid night, uh, all scoring to create that 6-2 final. Uh, big nights here from really both of the Hughes brother as well as Jasper Bratt, who had a goal and three assists. Both Hughes with a goal and two assists. Good all-around night for the Devils. They win this one by four. It's a 6-2 final. The Maple Leafs taking on the Columbus Blue Jackets, and once again, the goalies in this game were just brutal. For Spencer Martin, 16 of 19 and 842 save percentage. Samsonov goes 15 of 21 for a 714 save percentage. And Elvis Merzlikens, who started the game for Columbus, Goes 12 of 14 for an 857 save percentage. So nobody wanted to stop a beach ball tonight, but at the end of the day, the Columbus still got the job done. The Columbus, whatever. Uh, in the first, it's Marner, Sillinger, and Matthews. The big four for the Leafs were clicking on all cylinders today. In the second, Robertson, Gons, Nylander, Voronkov, Johnson, and Tavares. A wild second period here. In the third, it's just Adam Fantilli with another goal that Samsonov's definitely going to want back. And then in the overtime, kind of a broken play here from the point. A bit of a shot pass from the defenseman. Gaudreau stops it on a dime. Sansonov is swimming, and Gaudreau just tucks it into the wide-open net for the 6-5 victory here. You need a couple saves if you're the Leafs. Hopefully, Martin Jones can get that done tonight because I don't see Samsonov going back into an NHL net anytime soon. The Capitals visiting Long Island, and the result tonight is much more like the results the Caps have deserved to get all season. They lose this one by a final score of 5-1. to one. Get outplayed pretty mightily here. Uh, in the first, there's no goals. In the second, it's John Pajot and Noah Dobson. Uh, quick note on the first, Charlie Lindgren left this one pretty early with what looked to be maybe a collarbone injury. He got a shot pretty uh, high up in the chest. He stopped three of three in the shots he faced. Darcy Kemper comes in, uh, and not a great night for him. He goes 24 for 29. Uh, so again, second period, Pajot and Dobson in the third. It's Gauthier with two and another for Pajot before Nick Obey-Kubel ruins the shutout bid from Sorokin with just 18 seconds to play. Aside from that one goal, though, Sorokin was very good. He goes 26 for 27, a 963 save percentage, pretty much what you expect from him at this point. Uh, it's a rough night for the Caps, good night for the Islanders. Game went about the way it should have. 5-1 victory for the guys in orange. The Chicago Blackhawks taking on the Dallas Stars, and it looked good early for Chicago. They score two in the first 10 minutes from Tyler Johnson and Cole Gutman, but from there, it's all-stars. They force score four in a row. Rope hints, Joe Pavelski, a second from hits, and a first from Jamie Benn. Make it 4-2 to two early on in the third, but the Blackhawks bring it back. It's another from Dickinson and Johnson, making it 4-4 and forcing overtime, where we actually have a pretty entertaining back-and-forth OT, but with just seven seconds to play, Rope hints completes the hat-trick bid on a pretty nice feed from Robertson and Haskin and all together, making it a 5-4 overtime victory for the Stars, who overcome that early 2-0 deficit. This one's going to hurt for the Hawks, but at least they got a point out of it. 
the Avs taking on their division rival in St. Louis. And this one was a pretty good little goalie battle between Georgiev and Jordan Bennington. Uh, two goals in the first, one each way for Johansson and Robert Thomas, who had a sweet finish on his. Uh, did not catch Johansson's, but the goal from Robert Thomas was a beauty. No goals in the second. And another heartbreaker here with just three minutes to play. Devon Taves from Johansson and Nechuskin picks up the game winner for the Avalanche. Georgiev goes 28 for 29, a really, really solid performance from him. His first big one in a while for Jordan Bennington, 21 of 23, so not quite the volume that Georgiev saw, but still a solid performance nonetheless. It's a big win for the Avs. They propel themselves back into first in the central. Um, despite all the rumors coming out of the locker room, this team still seems to be firing on at least most cylinders. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on with them eternally, but the results are still there. It's a 2-1 victory for Colorado. Penultimate game here between the Flyers and Kraken. and another pretty good goalie battle between Joey Decord and Carter Hart. Uh, in the first, Travis Konechny scores the lone goal for Philly. Uh, just a few minutes left to play there. They lead 1-0 headed to the second where there's no goals. In the third, though, Vince Dunn ties it up on the power play relatively early, about six minutes in. Forces OT, and in the overtime, Justin Schultz with the game winner on one that Carter Hart may want back. It's a one-timer from the back door, but it just leaked through the five hole. So hard to blame him on that, but at the end of the day, you probably want to get the stick down and make the save. Uh, tough result for Philly, but they are still sitting pretty healthily in second in the Metropolitan, 19, 11, and 5. While the Kraken improved to fourth in the Pacific somehow with a record of 14, 14, and 9. That division is wild, but nonetheless, they'll take it a 2-1 overtime victory for the guys in Teal. Final game of the night here, and it's another pretty good goalie battle between Connor Ingram, shocker, and John Gibson. Ingram goes 28 for 28, continuing his Vesna-like run. Gibson, however, 30 for 32, a pretty solid effort from him, a 938 save percentage, but obviously you can't win if your team doesn't score. Uh, so the only two goals tonight from Clayton Keller and Lawson Krause, he finally removes that curse that he has of being the only one that scores for his team when he scores. Um, and that was really it for this game and for tonight. Uh, so that's it for night 76. We'll talk to you guys later today. We have a good handful of games Saturday. Uh, so we'll catch you guys then. Thanks for watching.